All right, welcome to another Sales After Dark because money never sleeps. First of all, I wanna start out by thanking my man, Brian Gator, for this beautiful Las Vegas shirt, man. Hold on one second, gotta turn something off here. There you go. But anyway, so thank you for the shirt, Brian. Really appreciate it. Uh, really appreciate it, man. Thank you very much, man. All right, let me see if I can pop this stuff on the board because we got a good night plan for you. I think you're gonna like tonight's topic. Uh, you've seen the headline, right? You've seen the headline, the description, what it's gonna be about. And it's a question I've been getting a lot. And that is, hey, Victor, you know, I go on these, you know, Zoom calls and people don't want to turn on their cameras. So the question is, how do you get them to turn on their cameras? So if you're watching this on the replay, hey, fast forward five minutes while I say hi to my folks here. And then we're going to jump right into the content. And at the end, we're going to do some questions and answers. But I think you'll like this. I, I actually wrote out some scripts that you guys can use. So if this is a problem you're having, maybe this is something you want to use. So anyway, Uncle John starts off today. Thank you, brother, for being here, man. Let me put on the glasses, man. I'm not too blind, but I'm good. Again, Brian, man, thank you for the shirt, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, man. Uh, Mia Knox, West Coast is always in the house with Mia Knox. Lupe Perez, South Texas in the house. Uh, you didn't get any of that storm, did you, Lupe? Are you guys good? Let me know. Then, Luigi Giovanetti. Uh, a great day, way to close out the day. I think so, man. It's casual. It's cool. It's all about you, Duncan. All right. Hello, by the way. I am Joy. Duncan is my husband. We share the Facebook page. Hence, I love when people use the word hence. It just sounds so elegant. Hence, the name and the weird looking avatar. My curly. I wasn't going to say anything. I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. Joy, I just wasn't going to say anything. My curly hair and his glasses. Anyway, gracias, Joy, Joy. Joy. You ever hear that song? I want joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Remember you were a kid? You're... Let me know if you even heard that song, Joy, or else I'm just kind of being weird right now. Anyway, Habitude Warrior in the house. Oh, you know my man, Swanson, man. So do you know him? You got to know him, man. If you're a Habitude Warrior, you got to know my man. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well down there. Uh, we have, yes, man, Yeshaya Moskowitz, New Jersey in the house, East Coast, Hamad out of Toronto, and Lupe says, Victor, we are good. Thank you, man. I'm glad you're good, man. I, that storm, my wife was posted, keeping me posted on that storm, and he's like, it looked nasty. So anyway, are you guys ready to jump in this? Camlish, always, man. You know, I, I appreciate you, Camlish, because I know it's got to be, what, six in the morning in India? So the fact that you're joining me this early, man, thank you. So this is, by the way, let me know if this has ever happened to you. When people get on the actual, like a Zoom call, they don't want to actually turn on their camera and there's that awkward moment. If that's happened to you, give me a one. If that's happened to you, you know what I'm talking about. Because it's weird to have a conversation, like you got, they're looking at you, but you can only see that little blank square with their name on it. Has that ever happened to you? Because like I said, I've, I've had several clients bring this up to me. This past week I did a, um, a webinar with a company and that was one of the big topics is like you know victor they don't want to turn on their camera and i'm like i don't know why so let me see we got some comments here yep heard it uh lupe's got something let me see what you got here lupe first met you in dallas with swanson and i got hooked oh thank you that was about oh man it's about two years ago man that's, so yeah give him a yo for me if you see him i have a shirt man i should wear a shirt on this show i do have a shirt this happy to warrior shirt uh but yeah so anyway uh, what I want to do is maybe just give you some scripts to work with. Uh, if you're a member of the Sales Velocity Academy, I'm going to put all the scripts up there. By the way, so this is the title, 10 Ways to Get Others to Turn on Their Webcam. And I want you to put yourself in a position that you're talking to a client, right? And again, how do we get people to just want to turn on their camera? Because a lot of people just simply don't want to get on video. I mean, it's just for various reasons, right? They don't think they look good. You know, uh, they're shy. Uh, maybe the background's not good. I don't know. There's always a reason. So again, I'm going to give you 10 scripts, 10 ideas that you can use to get people to flick on the actual um, camera. And the, the reason I think this is important, I don't think it's important. I know it's important. Uh, there's a company called The Rain Group. R-A-I-N, did an interesting study. He says, when people have their cameras off, their engagement rate is like 42%, some crazy number like that. When the camera's on, it goes up to like 98%, 42 to 98. The majority of people, when they don't have their cameras on, 
uh, engage in multitasking. They're doing other things. And you know, you, we can't really multitask. We just switch from one thing to another, but we re really, we're not good at it. And so if you want to get the customer's attention, the client's attention, you know, at least get it up to 98%, you want to get them to turn that camera on or else you don't know what they're doing, right? And you're missing all the visual cues because you can't see them. So this is really an important topic. So again, uh, I'll put all the scripts in the Sales Velocity Academy. So if you're not a member, you should be a member. There's the website right there. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell button so you'll be notified when I go live if you don't know. So anyway, let's go through some of these scripts. So first one, drum roll, right? The first one is, I think this is a cool one, and I'll zoom in so you can see it. Imagine sending an email, says, tomorrow's call, this is email, send an email, right? Tomorrow's call will be recorded via video, so make sure you're camera ready, right? And looking your best. You can add that piece of humor if you like. But here's the key phrase, I'm looking forward to putting a face with the name. Or you can say our team, if you're, it's a group of people, our team is looking forward to putting a face with the name. And so this makes the other person say, okay, they wanna see who I am. So this is a way of kinda, remember, we don't wanna push people and make them feel like they have to get on video, but this is a nice way of nudging them. And this line right here, it's a beautiful line. That's the one that's gonna say, yeah, I think I'm gonna get on live because I look forward to putting a face with that name. Let me know what you think of that one, man. I, I think that's an interesting one. What are your thoughts on that? I'm gonna get your thoughts. We're gonna go through this and I'm gonna get your thoughts. And if you can make it better, let me know how you can make it better. Jared Best Mitchell, I need this. Have a uh, training coming up on the 8th. Good first tip, man. And like I said, as I'm going through this, if you have one that I've missed. Okay, now that was number one, by the way. So try to keep track of your favorites, okay? I'm gonna go one through 10. Try to keep track of your favorites. And if you like that one, give it a thumbs up. By the way, rate that one on a scale of one to 10. Just rate it for the heck of it. Just give it, give, from one to 10, what do you think? It's a five, it's a six, 10, I think I like it, Victor. And again, be honest, I'm not gonna be hurt. And again, if you can make it better, I wanna see how you can make it better. Cause like I said, I can maybe even learn from you guys. All right, you ready for number two? Number two is, this is a little more direct, you know, this is a little more direct. Before we start, can you turn on your camera? If you need a few minutes to set up, that's fine. I can wait. I mean, that's, that's kind of casual, right? All right? That's kind of casual, right? Before we get started, you know, can you turn on your camera? And if you need a few minutes, that's fine. I can go get a cup of coffee. I can wait. We can wait a couple of minutes for you to get set up. And it's another way. I mean, this is a really direct approach. You know, this one, you got to feel comfortable. And again, I'm going to give you 10 and then you're gonna choose the ones that you feel comfortable using, okay? What do you think of this one? Do you think it's too direct? Come on, give me some feedback. Uh, on number one, Hamad gave me a seven. You said, okay, one out of 10, that's a good seven. Ed Rivera, my man, Ed Rivera, man, dude. I, I love this dude, man. Ed, you're awesome, man. Good to see you, I haven't seen you in a while. That's definitely a good line. I, I think it's a pretty decent line, man. Like I said, we can make it better. Hamad, Hamad, if you can make it better, the first one, give me some suggestions also, maybe tweak it a little bit. Share with me. But what do you think of this one? Is this, this one, the, this one I'm like, eh. You know, Brian's given this one a five or a six. <laughs> I love you guys, you guys are honest. Nestor says, dude, I think it's a 10. This one, see, it, it really is personality based. Like people who are like direct will love this one. Like, hey dude, turn on your camera. If you need a couple of minutes, you know, bye. And I agree, it is professional. As long as you say it the right way, I'm with you. It is professional. Give me some of the comments. Let me put some of these comments on here. By the way, uh, I'm just going to take a lot of comments on this stream because I, I really want to engage with you. Uh, Nesta gave this one a 10. Said, it is professional. Uh, we got Mario Lucio da Silva. Add some more names, my Brazilian friend. Muito bom. Uh, anyway, always, I love Brazil. You know I love Brazil. Porto Alegre, Recife, and obviously Rio, right? In that order, by the way. So, yeah, thank you. Uncle John says what? Hey, before we start, can I see your beautiful smile? There it is, man. That's all you get. Uh, thank you, Uncle. Watching live, no webcam required in lamest terms. Thank you, Doug, for giving me a hard time. Appreciate you. Lupe gave that a three. She's just like, nah, not feeling that one, Victor. Is this the one you're talking about, Lupe? Lupe, did you just give that a three? You're like, I don't, I don't like that one, Victor. I'm not, I'm not feeling that one. You're like, not feeling that one. Okay, that's honest, Lupe. I like that. That is honest. That is honest. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, this one, uh, Nestor says, uh, it sets the stage. Let's go back. It sets the stage. You are the expert, and that's what we are there for. 
It's interesting because, to your point, Nestor, I had a, um, I, I was doing an interview about a month ago, month ago, and that was the one with uh, uh, Jeff Kozer, who, uh, Selling to Zebras, the book. And before, when Jeff contacted me that he wanted to be on my podcast, a visual podcast, I really, you know, this true story, I'm not making this up, I didn't like his background. I said, I saw one of your interviews, and I didn't like the background. You were in the kitchen, and you were wearing those gaming, uh, you know, and I remember I talked to his assistant. I said, you know, uh, I said, if we're going to do the interview on video. I said, is there any way we can get a different background? And, you know, can we get off the headsets? Because it just doesn't look good. And Jeff was so cool. He came back. Let me see what we could do with our studio to change things, Victor. And I remember we, we delayed the, the interview for like two weeks. And he came back. We finally, he says, I'm ready for you, Victor. Let's do this. And I remember the first thing I said, look, I apologize if I came off too pushy. And here's what he said to me. He said, Victor, he said, when you told me to get rid of the headphones and put a nice background with my logo, he said, the only thing that showed me was that you care about me. You know, I thought he was going to be mad. He goes, no, it shows that you care about my image. And I appreciated that. And I was like, oh, this guy's a pro. This guy is a pro. So what does Duncan have to say? For two, I would say everyone get get ready to turn on your camera. Yeah, by the way, that's a good point, right? Uh, let me go back to two. Because, you know, before we start, you know, uh, before, can you turn on your camera? This one, Joy, I was assuming that it's just one person one-on-one. -on -one, but you're absolutely right that if it's more than one person, you just make it all-inclusive and it sounds that much more polite-er. So you are absolutely right. I love that. Hamed, let me see what he's saying. The line is great. I think that mixed in with already having yours on is the best combo. Yeah, you should have yours on. I agree. I'm scared the ghosting uh, rate might go up if there are if there are camera shy. Maybe, but but I think if you you're right, you should have yours on because you you know as soon as you I set my zoom so when I come on my camera's already on automatically. So I have mine automatically set up. So they see me immediately. When I don't see them, I usually say something like this. Uh, I said, I, I'm not seeing you right now. I said, if you need some time to set up, the, uh, you know, to get the webcam going, uh, I'll give you a couple of minutes. I'm going to go downstairs, get a cup of coffee. We've got two minutes before we start. Or something polite like that. So I'm with you on that, man. That's a, that's a good suggestion. Brian says, uh, missing reason why will depend on the other person's personality and how it be, would be received. Absolutely. You know, and again, you can kind of play with this one a little bit. Now, remember what I said for the first one. The first one, because again, you can blend these and come up with your own script. Remember the first one had this? You know, I'm looking forward to putting a face with the name if you've never met. So here, you can kind of do the same thing. If you need it two times, da da da, da that's fine. I can wait because I'm looking forward to putting a face with the name. See what I mean? So you can play with the scripts a little bit. So, but good point. Sparrow's Tales in the house, man. Thank you for joining us. Uh, got you right. Uh, Mia still says I'm liking number one. All right. And a double one, I'm assuming that's great. What do you got here, Nestor? You got make it a habit, minute or two before, be ready, sit still, and you don't fumble around. True. You should jump on just a little early, and I'm going to get to that, Nestor. Don't you run ahead of me, man. Let me go. Number three. All right. Before you see this one, this is my favorite one. I'm just going to tell you, this is my favorite one. This is a monster one. This is a beast. I don't even know if I want to show it to you. It's really good, but I'm going to show it to you. Here it comes. So when I send somebody something, I say, hey, use this link to test your video camera or webcam before joining the meeting. I don't know if you knew this, but the majority of people in my case use Zoom. But you can use that link to actually test your audio and your video. And so this basically is kind of indirectly saying, go test it, your video camera, before joining the meeting. And you can just type in that link. So if you want to practice Zoom, but you don't want to log in, or you don't have a login, that's fine. All you have to do is actually go here, and you can actually do a test. Come on, tell me what you think of that one. Hamad, what do you think of that one? Mia, tell me what you think of that one. I know Nelson's got to like this one. That's a very nice nudge. I'm not pushing hard. That's a gentle push. What do you think? Let me see. Uh, TJ said he almost forgot to be here, man. I'm glad you're here. Good day to you, man. Uh, instead of, can you turn on your camera, uh, try a friendly reminder. Yes, I'm coming to that, Mia. But that you're absolutely right. That's a very, here's a friendly reminder, right? And that's a nice way of putting it. So I love that. I love the way you added that. So that's a very nice touch. 
Doug, what do you got for me? Turn on your camera. If not, we should just do a phone call and miss out on connecting uh, better. Uh, missing, miss out on connecting better visually. That's harsh, man. That's tough, Doug. That's tough. Because, but you're absolutely right, right? Like if we're not, if you're gonna get, if you're not gonna turn on your video, why don't we just get on the phone? It's the same thing. It feels awkward. Your point is well taken. Uh, Lupe says the bomb. Tell me, was that for number three, Lupe? I need to know. Ah, Pete's in the house. We can now begin the party. Uh, three. Yes gives them a heads up that video cams will be preferred. So number three is good. Just giving them that link. Uh, I don't know if the other ones have uh, that a test link, but that's a, that's a good thing that I think Zoom has. What do you got, Ed? How about this line? I'd like for everyone to turn on their cameras on so that we can have a more personal and lively conversation. Dude, I love that one, man. I'm going to cop that one. Look at this. I'm going to do this one better. I'm going to screen. I just screen captured that one. Cause I'm gonna copy that one. I'm gonna add that one to the script. I really like the way you said that. I, I love the way that comes out, man. Let me know what you think of Ed's. I think that's a really nice way. That's another one. Way to go. Like I said, you can play with the phrases, whatever feels comfortable. Uh, Elkin says, hey Vic, nice gentle push with the camera test. I think so, man. I like. I really like that. That's my favorite one. Uh, Zoom ripped off Skype. Skype had all of that first. Good idea regardless. And even they ripped him off. Uh, you know, I like to say imitation is the highest form of flattery. Isn't that what they say? Let's go with that. It's more positive, right? Uh, Pete from Cleveland. We know you're from, well, nobody else knows, but I know you're from there. Anyway, so uh, ha -ha, the last one is great. Also prevents glitches and wasted time. Yeah, it is, man. It is. Yes for three. Lupe's in the house. Agreeing with that one. TJ, VA wasn't able to use other... Uh, Otter, with Zoom yet? My Zoom presentation was moved to next week, but I was exploring it with it yesterday. You can upload my video, actually, and it will it will transcribe. So, But you can't test it, right? You can do a small test and just ask, see if it's transcribed. Is that what you're telling me? So if you did that, great. Otter's, uh, by the way, what TJ's talking about, we covered otter.ai, a transcription program that works with Zoom in the last live stream. So I'm glad you tested it out, man. I'd love to hear that. Great, Ed. Uh, nice. Ed, that, that was a nice one. Uh, but not my language. Well, you can't have everything, TJ. You can't have everything, my friend. You can't have everything, okay? All right. Number cuatro. Number four. Here we go. Uh, let me see. So, okay. So, this one, I thought, again, I'm throwing ideas at you. Because believe it or not, I went online trying to research this, and I couldn't find a lot of content. So, I think I'm going to have the best content out there right now on this topic. And so how about this? How about this? Just a thought. How about setting out, setting, sending a meeting agenda, right? And this could be one to a group. Now, let's say this is a group meeting. You can say, hey, and you know, you can organize your own agenda. Time, 10.30, 9.30, platform Zoom, video link and password. You fill it in right there. And then instructions. Please make sure to test your webcam. See how I blended that in again, right? and sound. You can do that by going to what? Zzz, to do the testing. And then you got name, address, here are the attendees. You kind of make it formal. Uh, topics, here's what, who, what, when, where, why, whatever the topics are. Uh, the presenter is going to be Jane Doe and Billy Kebab, right? Right? And then says, please note, this discussion will be recorded, so look your best. What do you think of that one? That's like, that's more of a group invitation to make sure that we can see all the panels. By the way, you know, uh, Doug sent me, Doug Lehman sent me a video. It was really funny. Doug Lehman, Doug Lehman was on a, uh, Doug, you can chime in and tell me if I'm, uh, let these guys know I'm not making this up. So Doug sends me this video and it's a webinar, right? And it's got the, uh, what do you call it? The gallery of the different pictures. And there's one girl in there. I don't know if she knew she was on. Doug, I don't know if she knew. You tell me. But she's, I mean, she's like drinking and stuffing her face while this is all going on. And you can just see that everybody's kind of looking at her while she's just like, but it's not like gentle eating like. No, it's not that. It's like, you know, <laughs> it's right there in the camera. So did she know, Doug? If you're still on, Doug, let me know. Did she know that she was on camera? What do you think of this one? What do you think of this one? Uh, let me see. Uh, let me go here. Uh, Nestor, 
Hey, another Salgado. Hello, Tocayo. All right, guys saying hi to each other. Number three is very good. Mario, cool. Uh, let me see. We got TJ, I got that. I got you. Hey, Victor, would you still go ahead with just you being in the video if the customer is categorically disagreeing to turn it on? Absolutely. I got no problem with it. I did it one time already. Uh, two weeks ago, I did that. And I just kept going, you know. And then I, w I, w I would kind of prompt, I would say certain things, Rod, like, by the way, where are you located at right now? I would say things like that. I said, are you at home or are you in your office? Because I hear like a lot of traffic behind you. Just trying to prompt the person to turn it on. You know, because they were like, you know, I, it was one of those, you know, I could feel that it wasn't the right time to say, hey, turn your camera on. Uh, because I thought they were going to eventually turn it on, but didn't do it. That's when I said, you know what, from now on, at the beginning, I'm going to ask the question, turn it on. And I'm going to have them say, no, no, I don't want to turn it on. So I think it'll be awkward for them. So... Uh, interesting. Anyway, so yes, positively, I always have an agenda and I forward an outline of our meeting to make sure the person I meet with has a chance to prepare. And I think that's a good way of doing it, right? Just putting that information in there. Uh, and you're, yes, I, you're absolutely right. It does depend on the personality, right? And that's, that's kind of the hard part, right? Just trying to figure that out. Brian, what do you got? Uh, Meeting agendas are a must. Gets everyone prepared for the topic discussed and formats to be used. Very professional and sets a great tone. That one has a lot of professionalism in it. So, you know, I think you can use that in a B2B scenario. Mia's still on number three. She's still liking that. Awesome tip on the Zoom link test. Great positioning for the video call. Solid tip, Victor. Thank you, Doug. Uh, Sam's in the house. Hey, Vector. Uh, I usually say, can you see me? Because I can't see you. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. That's funny, man. Dude, I'm going to give you the DJ horn for that. <laughs> That's just clever. That's brutal. That's brutal. Hey, can you see me? Because I can't see you. Oh, that's a good one, man. Thanks for the laugh, man. Wow, that number four was a great reminder of the client to the prospects. I love that. Um, I sold door-to-door -door, uh, through the ring camera, and I just kept going with my pitch and offer. Wow, that's amazing. Man, that's a topic to be covered in and of itself. Uh, Marco says, thanks for everything, man. Marco, thank you for joining us. All right. Now, number cinco. How about if we text them? Let me zoom this in again. All right. So, again, uh, this is me texting. Hey, please make sure. So, again, we've confirmed the meeting. We've confirmed the meeting. So, I'll just say, please make sure you have an uncluttered background as we will be video recording both sides of the conversation. Reply, not a problem. Thank you. See you tomorrow. I always insert the word see tomorrow. Now, this is one where you have maybe some familiarity with the customer. Again, just giving you a different flavor because some people want to just go through text and it's something to say, hey, you know, hey, by the way, looking forward. By the way, I threw in the uncluttered background just to remind people that, you know, in the background, it shouldn't be uncluttered. I'll cover some of the, uh, I came up with the seven sins of video uh, recording. But let me know what you think of that one. I think that's a, that's a that's, I call this one my millennial script. Right? It's a millennial script because millennials like the text. So sometimes you just want to text it to them as a reminder. I would send this right before, let's say an hour before the meeting. Look forward to seeing you in an hour. What do you think of that? What do you think of number five? Uh, let me see. And let me go back here. Zoom test is a good one. It saves a lot of time. I agree, man. It lets you practice. Love number five. Thank you, Pete. Uh, Buddy Black. Sorry, I just like saying that. You and Giovanetti, right? I love it, man. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Uh, the Philippines is in the house. Eating on camera, oblivious. She was oblivious. I mean, you had to see the video. It's almost like you want to put it on one of those blooper reels because she was just stuffing her face. And it was like, but it wasn't so much that, and she was like totally like, just like listening to the call, eating. But then what was interesting is that all, everybody in the gallery is looking at her. And you can tell that they're looking at her and nobody's really paying attention, which means she really undermined the whole meeting without even knowing it. So it was, it was really funny. Uh, it's always good to touch in a different media. I think so, right? It's kind of a different media channel, right? Come at them with the text a little bit. I agree. Uh, five is really great. Says Uncle John. Buddy said, dude, I want the video. Interlace, awesome way to present, man. Good. I love it too, man. Uh, thank you, man. I don't think she knew or cared. Doug says about the girl. All right. Uh, Ed, what do you got? I like the name to face nudge. That's a good one, right? Name to face. I'm going to borrow that one. It's all yours, man. Since I'm going to steal yours, you can steal mine. 
Uh, Brad's number five. He's good with that one. Uh, five seems out of context. I'll stick to the pre-agenda with instruction that looks generous or genius. One of the two, Nestor. I like it. Yeah, like I said, man, this is like a buffet. You take what you want and you leave what you don't want. It's just to give you ideas, man. Uh, gives them time to set up. I agree with you. It's, it does give them time to set up. It's just, and I like what Pete said also. You're coming at them at a, from a different channel. I didn't uh, know about the Zoom test. This is another useful tool. Yes, it is. All right, so let's go with the next one here. Let's see what you think of number six. Now this one, I'm trying to figure out how to play this one. Let me zoom in. It's basically, you want to send somebody tips on how to look good on camera. Now, I, I think I would use this with my team and it would be something like this. Let's go through. You know, here are three video tips, right? For tomorrow's video conference. And, and by the way, believe it or not, people need tips. Let me just let me just pause here. I keep assuming that people know the basics of video conferencing. I really do. I keep assuming that. And I am constantly surprised how people are just clueless. Today, even today, I got people shooting their camera up their nose still, looking at the ceiling. I mean, it's just some crazy shots I'm getting. Uh, I did a, a conversation uh, two days ago, three days ago, and the person sat with the window behind them, and the sun would come out, and they would go dark. Their face would just go dark. And then it'd get cloudy, their face would go light. It was doing this throughout the whole conversation. And I actually said something towards the end. I said, may I suggest something? Next time you do this, you know, face the window. But anyway, so back to this. So these may seem obvious to you because you've been hanging around with me and smart people, but most people don't know it. So lighting, don't have the window behind you. It results in poor lighting. For best lighting, set up the window in front of you, right? Sit in front of the window. Two, camera angle. Have the webcam at eye level or slightly above. Very important, this right here. Eye level slightly above. Use a box. I always tell people just, you know, use a box or set some books up to raise the laptop if necessary. So if you need to raise it up, that's all you do. Uh, again, uh, this will help you avoid looking old, older and tired. I threw that in from an ego standpoint. And if you can see the ceiling, this is my rule of thumb. If I can see the ceiling, it's a horrible angle. And then the background, I said, make sure you have, you don't have anything cluttered in the background, which can distract others. And notice what I put here, which can distract others from listening to whose message? Your message. So what do you think of that one? I mean, that's, how would you use that one? You help me on this one. Because I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, you could send this out to your group, your team, to let them know, right? And make this is kind of like uh, the teaching the ABCs of etiquette, of video etiquette. So let me know what you think of that. What do you guys think of that? Uh, Lupe still loving number three. Uh, she's a Zoom test link. Yes, Jack, you can do a Zoom test link. So yeah, that works. Uh, if you missed it, it just go to zoom.us forward slash test, and you can test the Zoom without actually getting on a Zoom call. Buddy Black says, I'm stealing the can you see me because I can't see you live. Oh, that's a priceless line. That's a great line. Uh, solid recommendations so far. What do you think of that one? How would you use that one, though? Any suggestions on that one? I don't know where. I love that it has this content. It's kind of instructional, but, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm talking down to people either, like, hey. You don't know this, but the reality is they don't know. Uh, Buddy Black says there's some great tips there, and six is good, and sadly, I think it is necessary. I'm with you on that. All right, let's go to number seven. How about this one? It's a group customer call, and I think this one I put, in order to get everyone engaged, please make sure to have your video camera, webcam on. Having it on will increase engagement and make it a more effective meeting. This is kind of a, I'm saying this to the whole group, and somebody mentioned earlier how you, I think it was Joy that said you gotta kind of include everybody, right? So this would be my, hey everybody, in order, and you can, by the way, you can send this out ahead of time. Now, imagine taking this one, right? Hey, in order to get everybody engaged, da 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 da, please have your cameras on. Having it on will increase engagement and make it a more effective meeting. But then I can also maybe just tag this script. I said, by the way, and here's some tips on looking good on camera, right? So I can combine maybe six and seven. That's how, kind of how I think I would use them. What do you think? What do you think? How would you use those two? Uh, let me see, we got some here. Uh, somebody said, uh, Rod says, what's a perfect background? Anything that doesn't look cluttery? Uh, 
it should have your logo or your brand or something that really sells you. <clears throat> it's like anything that makes you look that much better. Uh, CF Jackson, Victor, this is so helpful. I did a video series, share something similar to this on how to create a video using a smartphone and create a free guide. Great, you're gonna grab some good tips from here. Uh, let me see, so six, yes, can see that or a variation of that internally. No one wants to look stupid, right? So you, do, you wanna kinda just kinda mix it in. I think I would combine six and seven now that I think about it. I would introduce it as something I saw that I would recommend. That way I don't sound pushy, I like that. So you, in other words, you know, I came across these tips, I'm just sending them out, FYI, in case you wanna read through them. Just kinda minimize that, so I like that. I had a president of a nonprofit in PG, <laughs> PJs. <laughs> oh, Jack, I don't, Jack, I don't doubt it, man. People do stuff that you're just like, uh, one of the questions I got on, uh, I think I told you this uh, maybe on the last live stream, and they said, uh, and he said, Victor, can you tell our group whether it's, it's a good thing or a bad thing to wear a hat during a video conference call? And I said, what, a hat? I said, who would wear a hat? I mean, think about it. If, if you wear a hat, it's covering like that. So then I could be able to, you know, you can't even do the eye contact thing. So PJs, I think that's gotta be the worst I've heard though, man. Uh, good, another variation. The fact that you are sending it shows you're organized. Good point, Nestor. Excellent point, man. Great point. Seven plays six and seven with the agenda in the meeting invite. Yeah, I agree with that. You can play with those too, a little bit. I figured out how to do it. Here are some tips from my friend Victor Antonio on how to get the most out of a Zoom call. There you go, Pete. There you go. That's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. Good job, Pete. I like number seven. Engagement makes the meeting more interesting. That was the hook in that line. So you picked up on that, Ed, because that was the hook. Let me just show you that again. That was the hook because what we're looking for is engagement, right, to make it more effective. And so we need that. So you want to emphasize that. And I think, you know, uh, managers see that. They're going to say, yeah. They're gonna like that. Winner is Pete. Uh, so yeah, I love that. All right, TJ, what do you got? Uh, let me just move this, sorry about that. Uh, I think this will be the same as the audio muting there. Uh, let me see, Buddy Black, what do you got? In order to help the call move quickly and efficiently and for me to help better understand your needs, tips to help both of us utilize time and resources. By the way, I hope I can get these tips somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna push them into the Sales Velocity Academy. So I'm glad you're liking the tips. I think they're really good, man. I think they're really good. Oh, on the mics, you had something on the mics. Oh, muting their mics. I think this would be the same as audio. Yeah, you know, muting their mics, good point. Registered, man, registered, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, hi, it would make you look younger if you have proper lighting. Yeah, so you can play with the words in that, right? And the instructions, you can play with the words. So absolutely, you don't look tired because I think people don't realize that when the light's shooting down, like I have a, I have a three position light thing here I don't use because when the light shoots down, it casts more shadows and it does make you look older. So it's a good point, which is why people always take pictures from high up, which is why you keep the camera high. Uh, Pete says, perfect Pete, you the man, Victor. Thank you, buddy Black, I appreciate that. Uh, let me see, what do you got, Ed? Uh, I sometimes tell clients, I'm gonna make the recording of this video session available afterwards for you to further review at your leisure. This usually gets them to turn on their camera, dress appropriately, and have a decent background. Man, I love that. Let me just, so I'm gonna make this recording of this session available afterwards, you know, for you to further review at your leisure. Clever, man, I love that, man. That's clever, man, that's really clever. That's, what I like about that one, and I'm gonna screenshot that one too. Uh, what I like about that one, it's very not pushy. It's kind of a nudge, and I love that one, man. So good job, man. Thank you, appreciate that. Way to go, Ed. Ed is doing well today. Jada, Jada Beats. Hola, Victor from Australia. Hello, mate. So, all right, so now we're gonna go to number eight. Let me know what you guys think of number eight. Jada, I'm glad you're with us, man. This is a group call. The best looking background. Gets a $20 Starbucks card. What do you think of that one? This is pure bribery. <laughs> okay, this one's pure bribery. <laughs> you know, this is this is like a solid bribe to get people to turn on. So by the way, we're gonna have 20 people on the call and anybody, everybody on the call, best background, gets a $20 Starbucks card. It's a it, way of indirectly saying, everybody turn on your cameras because we're gonna be judging backgrounds right now. So I don't know. What do you think? I mean, you guys, you guys tell me. Uh, I, 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 I wrestled with this one. I've not used this one, by the way. I've not used this one. I just thought this was a, a funny one. 
Uh, so, yeah, Sparrow's Tale say number eight's the, uh, his favorite, man. I, I like that. There's something there. Uh, uh, let me say, uh, let me see. Herb said, give us some sound effect. Well, damn, man, if you want this, that's for you, Ed. <laughs> Courtesy of Eb Wash, Herb Wash, and you get that on top of that, too. There you go. I hope you're happy, Herb. So, anyway, <laughs> so can you do what Ed said on Zoom? Can you do what Ed said on Zoom? Can I do what Ed said on Zoom? Let me go back to what Ed said. Uh, I sometimes tell my clients, here it goes, back to the right. So I don't know what you're asking me. I'm going to make sure the recording of this session available afterwards for you to review at your leisure. By the way, this live stream, I'm going to make this live stream available for you to review at your leisure after we're done. I don't know if that's what you wanted me to do, but that's the best I got as far as what I can get from that. Uh, better be careful of the background. Uh, two screen, let me see. Brian says what? Two screenshots from Ed. That that deserves the canned applause. Yeah, he got it, man. He got it. Dude, Ed, they're on your side tonight, man. They're on your side tonight. Uh, better be careful of the background. Yeah. You know what it is, is that uh, the I had a call this uh, week, buddy, and it was the one with the lighting. One person had the bad lighting. The other person was talking from their bedroom. Now, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. But... I can see the bed wasn't made off to the side. And I'm going, that is distracting as heck. So anyway, it, it's amazing. So, you know, when my friend Ochoa said, you know, hey, you know, I got, I got somebody in PJs. I believe it, man. I believe it. People do some stuff and you're like, man, I can't, you know, I don't know what's going on. Uh, let me see. TJ says uh, everybody loves coffee, so that'll help. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about number eight, Victor. You may have more people stressing, if anything else. <laughs> I don't know about eight either. See, if, I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there because I, I just thought that was like, how do I, how do I bribe people? I had to throw in the bribery one. Uh, might get more than bargained for. I know what you mean, buddy black. Buddy, I can read between the lines. I just refuse to go there with you, buddy black. So uh, it's COVID. I haven't seen anyone's face in days. Give me some social interaction. <laughs> Well done, Hamad. I need to see some faces. I haven't seen anybody. That's a good joke, man. That's actually a very good joke, man, dude. Uh, dude, I'm going to give you a clap for that. That's a funny one. I got to get a laugh track, and next time I'll have a laugh track ready for you, Hamad, on that one. That's good, man. I love that one. Uh, let me see. Yes, you can record Zoom. Yep, somebody asked a question, Brian. Uh, record a copy and send it to the customer. Yeah, that's what it was referring to. So I think that's brilliant, man. That's brilliant. Uh, Camtasia is a software I use to screen record my meetings or uh, training sessions. Jada, it's a great program. I like Camtasia. I use one called, uh, I can't look at it because I'm on the actual computer. I think it's called Screenshots. And it's just, it's, it's as good as Camtasia. I think it's only like 20 bucks. It's a good program. But Camtasia is solid, man. It's a great program. Elkin, Vic, do we need authorization from the people present in the meeting to be able to publish the whole recording in the Zoom meeting? I would do that. Yes, I would do it. <clears throat> I think it's just professional to do it, right? So I always let people know ahead of time that we're, we're going to be recording it, right? Or let's say that I just get on camera with you right now, Elkin, and I said, Elkin, I'm going to go ahead and record this. Is that okay? And now it's, you know, that statement, you'll say yes, is now recorded as well. So that gives me permission. You know, if you're going to publish it online somewhere, or anywhere that's public, I would definitely ask for permission. And I would try to get something in writing like via email or something if I'm going to put it, let's say, online. You know, that that's the way I would do it. I would definitely make sure that I would ask about that. Uh, so, Buddy Black, you're too funny, man. Uh, agenda helps people stay on the topic and get the meeting done. Yeah. You know, what I'm finding, Jack and everybody else, you tell me if I'm right uh, or wrong here, is I'm finding that what I'm loving about these Zoom meetings is that they're faster. People want to get off them quicker, so they're just like to the point. If you have an agenda, you can chomp through the agenda faster. So I think it's providing a benefit. So my question to you is, have you noticed that the Zoom calls seem to be shorter as opposed to like, if you, you know what, we got five people, it just takes a long time to get through everything. But it seems like these calls are getting shorter. You know, let me know what you think. And I know it depends, but I'd love to get your opinion. All right. So let me go to number nine. We're closing in. All right. So this one is pretty straightforward, okay? Hey, John, can we jump on a few minutes early 
to make sure our video webcams are working and we don't have any bandwidth issues. I like using this one with my international companies, right? And coaching clients, because sometimes we do have bandwidth issues, but what's cool about this one is that you're giving them a reason. Hey, can you get on early just to make sure that video is going to work properly and we, ha we don't have any bandwidth issues? Let me know what you think of that one. I think that's a polite one. I, I like this one. This one I like. When I, when I came up with this one, I was like, I like this because I know we've had bandwidth issues in the, uh, in the past, especially international. I just did a meeting with um, a young man who was, was really fascinating. His name is Dave. He was from Nigeria. He wanted to interview me. A 17-year-old kid wants to interview me from Nigeria. And we were having a great conversation, but I didn't know that they throttled their Zoom calls over there. They only give them so much time. And you can see the counter show up like you're almost out of time. But we had bandwidth problems. And so there was a lot of jitter and a lot of, you know, freezing going on. So that's, I think, it's important to actually, actually have that conversation. Uh, let me see. TJ says, let me see. TJ, uh, that's what I, what I ask another prospect since he's busy. I ask him if he minds that I send him a video presentation instead and give me feedback. He agreed, so I'm going to record it later. I don't know about that. I mean, I don't like doing that, but if that works for you, TJ, you do that, man. Uh, number nine is really brilliant. I think so, Inko. I like that one. Nine is good for B2B. I agree, Brian. Uh, I, I think you can use it for B2C. Any, anytime you're doing a one-on-one -on -one with somebody, you just say, let's get on a little early just to make sure, you know, we don't have any bandwidth issues, right, or connection issues. George Strickland. Zoom meetings are shorter and to the point. Less cost than face-to-face -face and more effective. Only missing reactions and body language. You're absolutely right. I'm reading a book. Uh, I'm reading two books at the same time. So uh, two guys put out two books called Virtual Selling. Jeb Blunt, my man from Outbound. Jeb Blunt, Outbound, Virtual Selling. And then uh, another one was written by The Rain Group. They also titled it Virtual Selling. In The Rain Group book, there's actually a study that talks about what you're saying right now is that they, t they actually analyze the return on investment, the cost savings, and the cost of sales, how they go down, how they've gone down just because we're not traveling to locations. And they even offer a free uh, uh, return on investment calculator, face-to-face -face versus virtual. And so maybe I'll review that book down the road and maybe share that. But you're, you're dead on, man. You're dead on, George. So thank you for sharing, man. That is awesome. Uh, we got nine for sure. So yeah, I think I think nine's a, nine's a winner. Nine's a keeper, I think. Nine's a keeper. Uh, Pete likes nine. I love that. Uh, let me see. I remember your example using the word because, <laughs> Inko, you're on it, Matt, to make someone comply. Now, that's not me. That was, remember, that's Robert Cialdini who wrote the book Influence. That's where I got that, uh, to make sure. So if you tell a girl to come to your house because, okay. So by the way, this is taken out of context. So I just want to clarify that it's a story that I tell. It's a joke. I, I tell a story on stage and that's taken out of context. But if you see hear the whole story, it doesn't sound this bad. But my point is that within the book, Robert Cialdini, he talked about, uh, you're too funny, Inkle. Uh, he talked about using the word because, because is like a trigger. So when you say, hey, can we get on a little earlier because I want to check our bandwidth to make sure it's good, people will be more compliant. Because is a compliant trigger. It makes people comply with your request. So if you want people to say yes more than no, use the phrase because. Now, in the story I tell on stage, I joke about, hey, if you see a girl and you say, hey, would you come to my place because, is that going to work? And obviously it doesn't. If you want to watch the whole video, go online. Let Inkle share the link with you. Anyway, uh, I just watched your No to Selling podcast in SVA Sales Velocity Academy. Thank you for being a member. Excellent info on frame casting and defiantly on the point for tonight's topic. Absolutely. By the way, that's my phrase. I came up with the line frame casting. I came up with that. I am declaring it. I came up with that phrase. Nobody's used that word. Frame casting. I was the first. I don't know if I'll be remembered for that. Maybe a hundred years from now, somebody will go, hey, I think Victor invented that phrase. Uh, I just watched your no touch. Got it. Uh, let me see. Rod says, how would you make the customer more at ease when asking him or her to share the screen? Like you're sharing your screen or you want them to share their screen? And so hit me with the clarification on that, because uh, if you're sharing your screen, because I mean, what, what's good about, you know, like Zoom, you could do some collaboration on the whiteboard piece. So, you know, they can write, you can write. But if you're asking them to share 
I, I mean, we're talking about the video, or we're talking about sharing the screen. So help me with that. Uh, Pete, man, sales velocity rocks. Thank you very much, Pete, man. I appreciate you. Uh, we got some new courses going up. Uh, we, by the way, we got a new series called, uh, I just put the first one up, you'll see it. It's gonna be called Fast Classes. Fast classes are gonna be like 15 minute courses that I just sh just shoot right through. Not rush through, but give you just the essence of the courses, the highlights, and hopefully that'll be a benefit to those who are members of the Velocity Academy. So check that out. Uh, Bravo, you get the horn for frame casting. Thank you very much. All right, number 10, you guys ready? Here it is. Uh, first of all, you ask for recording permission first, right? You know, ask for permission first. And then somebody asked me earlier, I think it was Mia that says, hey, Gentle reminder. So here it is, Mia. I think it was you. Uh, reminder, tomorrow's video call will be recorded. So look your best. Right? I look forward to what? Seeing you at 10. You know I threw that phrase in there, seeing you for a reason, right? I look forward to seeing you, you know, for a reason. So this is a nice way to say, just a gentle reminder. Uh, tomorrow's video call will be recorded. Uh, so look your best. You know, look your best is already. So you, look at what I did. You got to look your best here and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And, you know, again, you can play with the different phrases. So now we got 10 scripts to work from. So what do you think of that one? Are you good with that one? Uh, let me see. So what do you got? Uh, Gator says, bravo. I should give myself a high five for that. Uh, Einstein of sales. I don't know about that, man, but thank you. I appreciate that, Natalie. I thank you for that. What do you think of that last one? Natalie, others, what do you think of the last one? Would you use that one? This one right here, the general reminder. I mean, this is an easy one, right? You ask for the recording first. Is it okay? I think it's pretty straightforward. Not bad, right? All right. Because I like to exceed expectations, I have a bonus, number 11. But I'm just going to call it a bonus. Now, this one, I wasn't going to share it with you, but I'm going to share it with you now. Why? Because I love you. Here it goes. All right. This one. Looking forward to meeting you face-to-face -face virtually. I'll see you at 10. And again, looking forward to seeing you what? Face to face, virtually. I look forward to seeing, I'll see you at, and again, it's just the emphasis, I'll see you, I'll see you, look forward to meeting you face to face, virtually. And that's what you're telling them, I wanna meet you face to face, not face to audio. Face to face, I look forward to seeing you. And so that's one you can use. And so, what, are you, what was your favorite one? Highlight your favorite one. What do you think your favorite one was? Out of all the ones that I showed you, and I'll do a, I'm gonna do a quick recap. I'm gonna do a real fast recap. But number one, and let me erase that. Tomorrow call will be recorded. Make sure our team is looking forward to putting a face. I love this line, putting a face with a name. That's one. If we go to number two, before we start, can you turn on your camera? Number three, use the test link, like that one. Number four, meeting agenda. Number five, hit them with the text. Number six, here's some tips, okay? Number seven, group call. In order to be engaged, everybody be engaged, please make sure you have your video on. So that's not a bad one. Number nine, best looking background, we'll get $20 to Starbucks. Uh, John, can we jump on a few minutes earlier? Because, I should have used the word, right here, Ingo, I should have used the word make, earlier, because, I want to make sure our bat, we don't have any bandwidth issues. That's how I would rewrite that with the word because. Number 10, ask for permission. Uh, reminder, tomorrow's video will be recorded. Or last one, looking forward to meeting you face-to-face -face virtually. I'll see you at 10. All right, give me your faves, man. Give me your faves. Uh, Pete says, definitely not nine. Let me go back to nine. What was nine? You don't like it? No, I like, I kind of like nine. You don't, you don't. Not nine. Okay. All right. Well, I, I guess I'm wrong. I just, maybe I'm get too excited about my, so let me see. Nine and the bonus. Uh, nine and 11. Really? Okay. Your bonus is the bomb. I appreciate that. Leon Daly says nine. Uh, technical meeting. Camilla says, uh, technical meetings are best when videos on. That's what I say to customers. Number nine will be good to use. Thank you, man. I like that. Uh, Gator says 11 is a good one. 11 bonus is a winner, says Natalie. Cool. Uh, and for some reason, Pete just does not nine. Just does, doesn't like nine. Love numbers one through 11. Teach is going to go for all of them. Like nine and 11 and eight. Cool. 
I thought nine was the coffee. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the coffee one, I'm not sold on the coffee. I might have to move the bonus into the coffee slot and really just have 10, man. But I, I'm throwing it out there, man. I'm just, I'm throwing out ideas and see what works, see what sticks, man. So I like four and the bonus. Okay, so the bonus seems to be a hit. And I'm going to end up with this last slide. I put one up. I made this one for you guys. And again, uh, this is me telling you what you already know. So this is for people who don't know. And so if you have somebody who doesn't know how to do video uh, or doesn't know how to do a video conference, show them this video, right? So again, hey, do me a favor as always. I got to remind you guys, share this link with at least one person. If you like the content, hit the like button down here, uh, but at least share it with one other person. That'd be great. Now, I put this list together for you, and let's just go through it. Let me, oh, yeah. I call it the seven sins of video, right? The seven sins, like little devil's horns. The seven sins. <laughs> so, I did my best, All right? Uh, anyway, so seven sins of video. So the first one is what, the one we're trying to fight. Never have your camera off. Poor lighting and sound, right? Messy or distracting background, uh, plus no PJs, right? That's funny. Uh, webcam at a low angle where it's looking up your nostrils. You know, that's not good. We talked about that. I, I, I had to throw that in about wearing a hat. Eating during the video call. Doug, I wish you could really post that video, but I know you can't. Uh, uh, this is the other one. Multitasking. I know you can't read it, but multitasking during the call. I think that's one of the biggest sins we see. They talked about, again, engagement. The numbers were like, when people are not on camera, they're multitasking and their engagement level is like at 40% or something like that. And if as soon as they turn on the camera, they shoot up to like 98%, some crazy number like that. So we want to really get people to turn on their camera because they'll start doing other things in the background. So that is all I had for you guys tonight. And as always, final thoughts. Final thoughts is right now we need to connect face to face. So let's figure out you know, what your script is going to be. What are some, what, what lines are you comfortable with? So I presented you with 11 options. Some of you didn't like the Starbucks guy, Pete. I got that. Uh, but come up with a friendly way, something that you feel comfortable saying, hey, turn on your camera. Because again, we spend all this time and effort trying to get them to the meeting. We need to light up that camera. Make sure we're having that conversation because somebody pointed out already on the chat here that we need to see those visual cues. You know, we need to see those reactions. That's going to help us determine whether they're in or not. Are we engaging or not? So I think that's important to keep in mind. Uh, thank you. You guys are very cool with the comments. And again, hit the like button down there somewhere if you like it and share with at least one other person. And on that note, I'm out of here. Victor Antonio, Sales After Dark, always reminding you, selling ain't hard when you know how, and you know how to tell people to turn their camera on.